Hey, it's Doran with Tactical Hive. Today's video, we're gonna be covering ready positions. High ready, low ready, when to use them, and how to do it. So stay tuned. Hey, today's video is brought to us by Vetter Holsters. We use Vetter Holsters here on the channel as well as in our classes. Vetter Holsters are made in the USA and they can pretty much match up whatever you're carrying for CCW or professional use to any major maker model. Go ahead and check them out in the description below. Let's get to the video. And uh, like I said in the intro today, it's all about ready positions, in particular the high ready and low ready. There's a time and a place for both. And I really like to think of the high and low ready as almost like a, uh, a middle ground or stopping point between being preoccupied with something else and getting ready to actually engage targets. So what I mean by that, and we'll start with the high ready, is you know sometimes you're out about in harm's way, what have you, and you're just gonna be checked up. You're gonna have one hand on the rifle, you're gonna have it completely pointing up to the 12 o'clock to keep everybody around you safe, and you're gonna be dealing with whatever situation there is. It doesn't matter what it is, let your mind's eye go wild with the Narnia and the, and the million possibilities, does not matter. But for whatever reason, I'm here. And if something pops off, if I need to focus in on something to maybe a possible threat, something of interest, then I'm going to break from checked up right here to high ready. High ready has a few touch points. Obviously my pistol grip, primary shooting hand does not change. It's always there, it's always ready to go. My thumb is on the safety, same as it ever was. My brace, buttstock, whatever the hell you want to call it, is up against my forearm. It's not in the crook of my elbow. It's not up against my body. It's right here along my forearm. Now, everybody's a little bit different as far as body type, size, and length. You're gonna have to figure out what works for you, but this is what works for me. And then my support hand is right up here, right up here on my grip angle, whatever the hell you want to call it, and I'm ready to go. My front sight my muzzle pretty close together on this particular platform are right in front of my nose and the gun is out past 45 degrees. It's not fully checked up. It's not pointing down here where I'm gonna go flagging everybody like I am you right now. It's right about here. If somebody that I don't wanna hurt cuts right across in front of me, I'll go ahead and check back up. From here, this high ready position, I can also get to the framing position, which is right here, where I still have whatever we're calling this up against my forearm, but it's now buried into my torso. And I can go ahead, perform reloads, work jams, whatever I gotta do. If I need to work on this weapon system, I need to work on the sights, get the gun back up and running with new ammunition, whatever it is, I'm gonna do it right here from the framing position. So framing position, high ready, checked up. I'm checked up, I'm working on my gun, boom, I'm at the high ready. Now, what the high ready also gives me is the ability to smack things with the gun versus having to smack things with, say, my hand. My hand is a sack, a leather sack, filled with bones and ligaments and things that I do not want to damage. Whenever, if and when that ever happens, it's a huge pain in the butt and it does not heal very quickly. So I would much rather use this in place of a fist. That's just me. You gotta figure out what works for you. And here at the high ready, I'm able to do just that. If you've never seen that done to somebody, you'll never forget the first time it happens, <laughs> needless to say. So here, checked up, high ready, framing position, and then from high ready, I'm gonna go ahead, punch out, and back into my shoulder. I am not going to drag the butt end of this weapon system up across my gear. Why? Because there's all kinds of stuff I can get caught up on. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm going to punch out, clearing my gear and then back into my shoulder. Once my eye aligns with the sights, I'll go ahead and put this thing on fire and take shots as need be. All right guys, so now that we've talked to it, let's go ahead and get a, some live fire reps in. As you can see, I'm checked up. My uh, primary firing hand is on the pistol grip. My thumb is on the safety as need be. I'm also at my anchor point down here at my forearm and I'm just checked up, ready to go. From here, I'm gonna drop right into high ready. If I needed to, I could go to framing position, work on this thing if need be, or from the high ready, I could simply punch out, take shots, and now I'm down at the low ready, but that's up next.
So again, now I'm at high ready, punch out, clear my gear, back into my shoulder, back to high ready. I'm done shooting, I'm checked back up. That simple. Checked up, high ready, framing position if need be, taking shots. So high ready isn't as common as some of the other ready positions. Um, I'm not gonna name any names, but during my military career, I did work with certain units that weren't allowed to do this. When you're doing CQB, you're in a kill houses, there's a lot of uh, eyes on you. It's very dangerous training. So there's gonna be guys up in rafters looking down at what's happening. And for whatever reason, certain units aren't comfortable with letting their guys point loaded weapons skyward, which is where those rafters are. In the Navy, we, uh, we just don't, we just trust our guys. We're trained, trained and trained some more. And as far as I know, uh, we haven't had any issues, but if I, I think if we'd had one, I'd have heard about it. So whoever that's worth. All right, guys, so up next is uh, low ready. Low ready is very common. Low ready is kind of a, uh, a set point from patrol ready. Because when you're patrolling for long distances, you got your sling on, weapon is, uh, you got two hands on the weapon, it's sucked up on your body. Primary hand, same as it ever was. On the pistol grip, you got your touch points. Just like on a pistol, web of the thumb, middle finger, shooting finger along the side, and then of course your thumb is on the safety, same as it ever was in standard configuration. And you're just patrolling along. The butt end is pointed towards my shoulder, but it's not on my shoulder. Why? Because doing this just isn't comfortable. It's not sustainable. You're just not gonna do it for however long you're in the field. So you're just kind of patrolling along and then something picks, piques your interest. You know, you notice something, boom. Now I switch over and I'm, in, I'm now in low ready. Patrol ready to low ready. And low ready is low. This isn't low ready, this isn't low ready. Like low ready is pretty much pointed almost to my feet. Within reason, anybody should be able to walk around me and I not get flagged. If someone comes really close, then yeah, I might have to actually like low port this thing. But low port is not low ready. I am no longer ready. Once my buttstock leaves my shoulder, I am no longer in a low ready firing position. The brace, butt, whatever, has to have a touch point on your shoulder in order to achieve low ready. And low ready, generally speaking, when you break the timers out, is slightly faster than high ready. It's a little bit easier to do. And I believe that entirely is because of this rearward touch point on the shoulder. So without further ado, I'm at patrol ready. I'm at low ready. And as I get to low ready, I'm gonna get into that dynamic shooting stance. You know, I have that same shooting stance, rifle, pistol, machine gun, whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna be on the balls of my feet, I'm gonna have my knees bent, and I'm gonna be ready to go. And then for whatever reason, I decide to take shots from low ready, it's just straight up, straight back down. Easier, got more skin on the gun to include the shoulder, and it's, it's really relatively effortless at this point. I'm just setting myself up from success. Yes, I could get surprised and have to start from all the way down here at patrol ready. It's doable, it happens. But if I have that, you know, that second, if I have that little bit of notice, that teeny bit of warning, whatever it is, I am going to set myself to low ready. Just like so, just punch up. No other targets, I'm good to go. Right back down to low ready. Okay, we're done. Patrol ready, good to go. This is basically like being checked up, though I have two hands on the weapon, and it's more sustainable for long periods of time because the sling is actually helping support the weight of the weapon. Some disadvantages to low ready. Uh, in close quarters, if somebody were to get right on me, my gun is trapped down here, pointed at the ground. I can't really do much to defend myself from high ready. I could just take a contact shot right into their face. If they jump on me, I could just pull this thing in to retention and just start blazing away. It's a lot harder to do from low ready. I gotta, you know, I gotta bring this thing up. Yet having it up here, I can suck it back. I can just, if the guy's a little bit taller than me or I need to get down, I can just take contact shots during a struggle. Um, high ready makes me much, much more formidable and lethal in close proximity. But I'm not gonna walk around all day checked up. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. 
This is more, this is gonna be a much, checked up is going to be for a specific reason that I find myself in. I'm not gonna just walk around like this, nobody does, because it's not comfortable. And if you're not comfortable, you're gonna find another way to do it. It's just the way people are, myself included. So, which is why I go back and forth from the high and the low ready. I drill with for both high and low ready every time I train. And um, I preach it in my classes. I think you should be able to do both. I think there's a time and a place for both. And um, from there, you can branch out and, you know, try, do whatever you want. And I encourage that. Hope this helped. Um, just a quick video on uh, the two ways that I ready myself to fire with a carbine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell. You know, a lot of content on this channel. Definitely want to get that, hit that bell for me. And I'll see you next time. This is Door out.